Hey everybody. Hello everybody. Hey everybody. It's Brock. This is Brock. And we got a new episode with another episode of All About. Of All About. All About. What's up everybody? It's Brock and we got a brand new episode of All About today. Today we're learning about the Engineer Gobi. Prices on them, you'll spend about 10 bucks. Tank size, need about a 30 gallon when they're a baby, but I definitely recommend upgrading and getting about a 55 gallon by the time they get full size. Care level, super easy. Temper, one of the most peaceful fish I've ever dealt with. Reef compatible, yes. Temperature, you want to keep about 72, 78. DKH, 8 to 12. pH, 8.1 to 8.4. And your salinity, 1.020 to 1.025. Diet, they are carnivore. Make sure they're eating anything from flakes, frozen brine and krill and mysis, different little cubes like that. And pellets. Pellets are one of the best things to feed these guys because a lot of times they are shy and they don't like to leave their burrows. So make sure you get some pellets down there to them and they definitely will come out and go get them. Max size, they can get a solid foot long. There used to be an old video out of this guy who had two full grown ones in his tank and it looked like two just massive eels swimming around at full speed. It is wild looking. Definitely try to go and find that video. Compatibility, just ask. Normally I'd recommend putting more than one in a tank together. Helps them not be so shy and under the sand 24 seven. You can even put more than that in there. You can put like three to four in a tank. But definitely I'd recommend getting more than one. Color is that nice black with the white stripes. What's really cool is these guys as juveniles, their stripes are horizontal. But as they get older, the stripes actually turn vertical. So whenever you go to buy one, you can kind of tell if he's little or, little or big. Origin, they do come from Indo-Pacific. Make sure that you have a really deep sand bed. These guys are some intricate little burrow and cave dwellers it is awesome the things they can build but it can also hurt them because the most common way these guys die is because the rocks crush them they build these crazy little caves because they're little engineers and then the rock collapses because it can't hold itself up anymore so watch out for that another big thing with these guys is they tend to disappear it's kind of weird whenever i had one a long time ago he disappeared for like a solid two weeks and i never saw the dude and then after that he came out and he was like double the size and like it was like nothing was wrong i guess he was having a good time down in his little caves finding food down there so if that tends to happen don't freak you out just be patient with him also make sure you have glass lids on top these guys are definitely jumpers so you'll definitely want to at least keep them in the tank with some glass lids but that's it for the engineer goby Hope you all have a good day. Make sure to like and subscribe. Follow my social media. And I will see y'all later. We just hit a thousand subscribers. Thank y'all so much. I love y'all. I can't thank y'all enough from that. All started out with me just working in the fish store with an idea to let everyone know how to take care of some fish. And here we are a thousand deep. And it feels great. So to celebrate for the whole month of June, every single day, I'm going to put out a new episode of All About, about some kind of fish, some kind of crustacean, maybe different things on how to take care of stuff. But just either way, every single day, you're going to be getting a video from me, and it's going to be awesome. Maybe even more videos. So here we go. Stay tuned. Here comes celebrating a 1,000 subscribers.